Well, it's taken three attempts and a bit of luck, but a popular Northland attraction's been hauled out of the sand 13 years after it was washed ashore. The Belgium catch looked like it could be stuck there permanently, but now the national treasure will finally be heading home, as Ruani Pereira explains. It might be nothing to look at, but plenty of people still do. It's been a tourist attraction and apparently word's got out about it and there's all the yachties coming to Bobons and Wangaroa and uh, everyone's wanting to come and see it now before it disappears. The Ascoy 2 is legendary in maritime circles, a once famous luxury 20 metre catch, Belgium built in 1960. She's a long way from home and seemed doomed to end her days on our shores. 13 years ago, a solo yachtsman on his way from the Bay of Islands to Nelson didn't get very far on his journey, battling 130 knot winds in a storm that washed up the Ascoy right here, burying her 8 metres under the sand. The salvage operation took four years, everyone crossing their fingers for this latest attempt. Well, it was great to see that stern lift up out of the hole and the sea came in 10 minutes later. <laughs> The last salvage effort along this stretch of the Tasman Sea was 28 years ago, a notorious coastline that's claimed 150 vessels. The ocean floor out here, the geography out there is horrendous really. The restoration bill for the Ascoy will be over $2 million, an international fundraising effort. The queue is still good because this boat was extremely strong built and we want to, to put him back on the sea sailing. But it will take perhaps three, four, five years, I don't know. The vessel will remain on the beach until mid-January, then ship back to Europe for her repair. Rowani Pereira, One News.